okay people what you see here is a total mess what it really is is my network attached storage do-it-yourself project if you want to call it that so this is the Biostar MCP 6 PB M2 Plus motherboard that I used in my media center PC but that project has been scrapped because I didn't really use that thing so and, uh, down there is the Western Digital Caviar Green 1 terabyte drive and uh, this thing is still running uh, with 2 gigs of RAM and as you can see that CPU fan isn't really spinning all that fast gotta love cool and quiet and all that stuff so uh, actually downgraded the CPU in this thing it now has an Athlon LE1600 well I believe I actually had that thing in here to begin with but anyway this thing has an Athlon LE1600 processor that's a 2.2 gigahertz single core but uh, you know it's fast enough for FreeNAS that's for sure because that's what I'm running on here FreeNAS is running from the USB stick in the back and I hooked it up to Ethernet so uh, Ethernet on its turn is uh, connected to that wireless router over there which also has an input that's going downstairs to the other router which is going which is connected to the modem so that way we I have uh, full Wi-Fi connectivity throughout the house and Ethernet connectivity this way so it's basically a switch at the moment as well as a uh, Wi-Fi extender sort of there's only one problem with that router and that's uh, it's wireless G and it only supports 100 megabit Ethernet so as soon as my uh, as YouTube decides to pay me because uh, I'm gonna get some money next month probably I'm gonna upgrade uh, my network to gigabit uh, throughout so that's that should be sorted because all the cabling is uh, it's all cat 5e which is capable of gigabit as is so it's not certified gigabit but it is very much capable of gigabit so that should be fine I don't need to upgrade to cat 6 so let's just take a look at uh, what FreeNAS looks like on this thing okay so now I'm looking at my gorgeous blue screen of death wallpaper on Windows 8.1 no Mac OS 10 today on this computer ooh that's very bright but uh, it's all for a reason here's the system information as you can see it's running the Athlon LE1600 with 2 gigs of RAM barely any load so let's pull up system process currently it's transferring files the CPU is about 15% uh, 16% which is decent. The speed isn't all that great though as you can see here I'm currently copying at about 11 megabytes per second which is to be expected for a very very obvious reason 100 megabit Ethernet is effectively you know if you convert bits to bytes you have to divide by 8 so 100 megabits divided by 8 equals 12 and a half megabytes per second and if you subtract the overhead of the connection from that you'll you're left with about 10 to 11 megabytes per second effectively so as soon as you upgrade to gigabit which is effectively it's 10 times as efficient you could have up to 125 megabytes per second of throughput which with that overhead is about yeah that's it's about roughly 10 times the performance of regular fast Ethernet 100 megabit so to max out the CPU power on this thing I could run it could run six times the current speeds without overloading the CPU so effectively this thing might be able to run 60 megabytes per second over the network that's if I'm lucky but uh, as I'm seeing right now it's also running some Python in the background for some scripting. Let's just take a, get a look at that. It just uh, just peaked a little bit at 17% uh, for two Python processes. 
So in the end, I'm expecting this system to be transferring at a maximum of about 40 megabytes per second. That should be doable. But uh, before I can actually achieve those speeds, I would have to upgrade it to, uh, to gigabit. So there's not really much else to show here, except for my uh, share here. I'm still copying. Status is healthy. Well, <laughs> I hope. So currently I have it shared as a Windows SIF share. It is also compatible with Linux, so that should be fine. So and it's showing up here in network locations, so this is my disk Z. I only have a few folders on here because I'm still testing out and not actually really writing too much data to this thing yet. Finally I'm only having some video activity here. We have the Austin Powers movies here. See it takes some time to get it loaded because it's also copying. So I've got some air crash investigation and courage to cowardly dog on there. So But yeah, it's really easy to set up uh, FreeNAS on a system. All you need to do is get it to work from a USB stick, which is the most efficient way to do it, because uh, the CD-ROM is, uh, as the name suggests, read-only memory, so you can't uh, actually save your data to it. And if you can boot this thing from USB, it will also save the, all of your configurations to the USB drive, so you don't have to do any weird config or install stuff at all so that's quite convenient really I managed to set this up in uh, well 15 minutes or so I had it up and running but at first I didn't have uh, enough Ethernet cable so I could only transfer files through Wi-Fi and uh, the router that I showed earlier back there only outputs 54 megabit Wi-Fi so Wi-Fi is a different story in terms of throughput on wireless G, you're pretty much stuck with about two and a half megabytes per second. So that pretty much concludes what I wanted to show about my network attached storage project that uh, I have running here with the nice USB cable over there, which is actually my phone because it is charging. <laughs> But yeah, that's all I really wanted to show, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you for watching.